So the Lehigh River between Bethlehem and Easton had a number of river islands. Uh, the defunct Calypso Island, which is closer to the west side of Bethlehem. And then moving eastward, you have Laubach Island, you have Freeman's Island, and behind me, you have what's left of Jones Island. That's the one we're going to talk about today. There aren't many records about this island which once existed in the Lehigh River just east of the Mincy Trail. From what we have learned, the island had been used as a crossing point near the Mincy Trail where the Lenny Lenape built rafts to cross the river there. The island was eventually annexed to the mainland by the Bethlehem Iron Company in 1888. It is more or less where the Mincy Trail Bridge was built around 1914. On earlier maps, Jones Island was referred to as Isselstein's Island, named for an early Dutch settler by the name of Isaac Martens Isselstein. He came to the area by way of New York around 1737, actually predating the Moravian founding of the settlement of Bethlehem by four years or so. He spent his time hunting, fishing and raising his large family. Isaac built a log cabin near the southern end of what is now the Mincy Trail Bridge in what would become South Bethlehem. This family left many descendants in the area. Old Isaac died around 1743. The island is believed to have been used by participants of the walking purchase in September of 1737. Sometime following the death of Isaac Martins Isselstein, the island became known as Jones Island. On April 4, 1750 Patrick Graham conveyed a large tract of land, including the island to John Jones. It is believed that it was at this time that the island was named for he or his family. The Jones family was very prominent in this area during the 19th century. Old maps from around the 1850s refer to the island as Lower Island. It's believed that this was done to distinguish it from the Upper Island, which we also knew as Calypso Island. Like Calypso, Jones Island has all but disappeared. It is believed that Bethlehem steel may have dredged it, or that severe flooding greatly damaged it. What's well, so quiet, so peaceful down here. We're in an area with over 100,000 people around us in the middle of the weekday, in the morning, and yet you could easily imagine yourself transported back 100 to 150 years ago when the canal was new and when this area looked pretty much the way it does today. <laughs> <laughs> 